on the web and in your hands. This is MDI TV. In the past few months, much has been written in the media about the benefits of fish oil and the increase in evidence showing it can help prevent heart disease. You hear all the news and you might wonder, should I be taking a fish oil supplement or can I get enough omega-3 fatty acids by eating a couple of servings of fish each week? Well, a look at the latest research and the recommendations from the American Heart Association might help you determine the answer. First, the research. The increased attention on this subject in the recent weeks has been fueled by a new review covering three decades of research on fish oils. The study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology looks at a range of studies involving tens of thousands of patients. The author of the study, Dr. Carla V, writes, this isn't just hype. We now have tremendous and compelling evidence that demonstrates the protective benefits of fish oil in multiple aspects of preventive cardiology. The author goes on to address who benefits the most from getting the right amount of omega-3 fatty acids from eating fish or taking fish oil supplements. The strongest evidence of a cardioprotective effect appears in patients with established cardiovascular disease and following a heart attack with up to a 30% reduction in cardiovascular related death. Based on these findings and because our bodies don't produce their own essential fatty acids, the authors recommend if you're healthy, you should consume 500 milligrams of fish oil a day, which is the equivalent to eating fish twice a week. For people with heart disease, the recommendation is 800 to 1,000 milligrams a day, and that's eating fatty fish up to four times a week. Here's what can be confusing, how to get your dose of fish oil from supplements or by eating the right amount and right type of fish. If you don't have heart disease, the American Heart Association recommends eating fatty fish twice a week. Mackerel, trout, herring, sardines, salmon, and albacore tuna are described as good choices. Tofu and soybeans would be another source of omega-3. If you have a history of heart disease, the American Heart Association recommends you get one gram of omega-3 a day, preferably from fatty fish. The Heart Association says capsule form could be considered when you consult with your doctor. Dr. Levy, the author of the recent study looking at 30 years of research, has given a stronger push for taking fish oil supplements, saying he believes following the American Heart Association's recommendations for people with coronary heart disease is tough to do through diet alone, requiring those four servings of fatty fish each week. To get protective amounts, he says most people will have to take a supplement. Levy has disclosed ties to GlaxoSmithKline, the maker of a fish oil supplement, but he has said, I want to promote a principle, not a product. He has also recommended coronary heart disease patients consult with their doctors to determine whether they need to take fish oil supplements. But in the meantime, it seems a serving of salmon or sardines may be a good idea for all of us.